Welcome everyone to Let's Play Skyrim. Good name so here. I'm gonna you today with some brand new Skyrim adventure. <clears throat> Welcome to the Death Knight series. I don't know the name, but I'm gonna name this yet. Uh, but Welcome! Welcome, welcome, welcome. You guys had a vote, and this is what you voted on was the Death Knight. <clears throat> so, as you can see, we are starting in the good old alternate start, the newer updated version compared to when we started with uh, Can't Face Me Hours. And uh, before we get started, let me introduce you to our uh, Death Knight here. His name, as you can see here, is Uncle Porkstar. Now, some of you are probably thinking, what? But, um, I like to name my Skyrim characters after characters in a certain, uh, series. Catface Mammoth comes from there, now Uncle Porkstar comes from there. And if you know the series, more power to you, because not a lot of people know about it. And I'm not going to say what it is. Uh, go, uh, scavenge the internet, friends and foes alike. Yeah, so, we're an orc. Porkstar has the word orc in it. It's good enough for me. <laughs> I always, I always, like I said, I always name my characters stuff like that, and I like to name them ridiculous things as well. And as you also noticed, I am in the game! Woo! <laughs> I actually made myself a green screen today and uh, did a little testing out, and uh, it seems to be working all right. So, um, so yeah, that's going to be a new thing for this series that I, I think is going to be cool. Uh, it's... Um, I guess you could say helping my editing capabilities and whatnot and all that fun stuff. So, as we do with every series and every video, as always, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy. And I know in the trailer for this. And choose where your new life shall begin. I know in the trailer for this, uh, if you guys watched it, the uh, uh, Vengeance of Talos. Uh, you saw a glimpse of our orc character uh, roaming around Skyrim in some armor. And that was because for that particular uh, trailer, I chose the... I live in an orca stronghold. It seems pretty, pretty good. Um, but I'm going to go old school. I'm going to go very old school. And what we're going to do is this. I got cro caught crossing the border illegally. Now, when you say... Old school, what do you mean? Well, Such we're gonna see. Strange and twisted hand of fate. Indeed. Now, this doesn't play into the roleplay aspect of what we're doing here. Uh, 100% anyway. It gets us uh, access to a few key locations pretty early. Um, so, you guys are gonna recognize this. And I'm gonna talk over it because uh, I need to explain the backstory and we all know what this sound is we all know what it is but that's the game studios up in this bitch so as this is going in fact i'm gonna do this so i don't get distracted all right so here's the backstory of uncle porkstar i'm gonna look around a little bit you may notice a couple of things that are already different like uh he doesn't normally wear this stuff and we are also up rather high. And uh, a few other things are uh, are going on and whatnot. And I'm, I'm going to turn down the volume of this in the game. I got subtitles on so you guys can read. But I figure everyone who's played Skyrim has seen this who knows how many times. So this would take, uh, or this is a good opportunity for me to uh, have a little chitty, chitty chat with you guys. And here we go. So. The way that my telling of Skyrim goes is the very first uh, series, uh, the Master Assassin series of Skyrim, went went along. It, it was Catface Meowers doing his thing. I, I realize now my uh, hands are going into disappearing land, so I'm going to try to not move so much. Um, but uh, Catface Meowers had his exploits, and then he died um, at the hands of some unknown beings, so to speak, at least to him. Um, a little bit of time went by, and a new champion, a new uh, dragonborn arose, arose named Valkyrie, 
Valkyrie heard of the death and the trials and tribulations of one Catface Meowmers and decided to go through and basically take up the mantle, so to speak, and got stopped early in her prime. No one knows where she has gone. And then, by some unknown force, Catface Meowmers was resurrected and he came back to Skyrim bigger and better and stronger than ever. And he went through, he became the Dragonborn. He defeated all of those who uh, killed him the first time around. And those would be like uh, Serana, and uh, Harkin, and Marak had a hand in it. And, you know, all these people and Alduin, and they all came together and were like, Burr, evil. And Cat Base Bowers was like, no, I'm not, Burr, and killed them all. Just like he said he was going to do. And then, whoosh, he disappeared. No one has seen him in ten years. But what has happened between now and then? Skyrim is going to be a little different. In fact, Skyrim has been reset, if you will, by the hands of one Talos Stormcrown, Tiber Septim himself. Uh, what had happened was, is when Catface died, and during the Valkyrie timeline, so to speak. Time out. Valkyrie's not named after a character in the series that I was referring to er earlier. Time in. So, Valkyrie. Or not Valkyrie. Catface hey, yes, Mammers died first time. Push. Talos saw his deeds on the land of Tamriel and said, You. I choose you. You get to go back. You get another start at life. Into basically do all these things and uh, become the greatest dragonborn there ever was. And so, he said, Whoosh, and Catface Mammers came back. And during his ex exploits, Talos was very, very happy uh, with him and what all that he was doing. And then, one fateful day, Catface Mammers killed Heimskir with the most epic bow shot ever! What? <laughs> um... And for Heimskir, for those of you who don't know, is the guy in uh, Whiterun who's like, Yeah, my fuck's name, Talos! That's him. And he is the, almost like the voice of Talos on the land of Skyrim. Talos has many voices throughout, but on the land of Skyrim, Heimskir is the voice, so to speak. The preacher, if you will. See, look at that. Look at this new fancy armor. And those cloaks the and things. How did you so, end up here? Talos, when he saw this, was not, not pleased and started Forget formulating this. a plan. And that plan was, as soon as Catface Realmers sure defeated Marak in the fight to end all fights, Mar or Talos said, uh uh, <laughs> you're not going back to no Skyrim, son. <laughs> Get that shit out of here. Get that weak shit out of here. And sent him off away to a mystery land oh, and no one has ever seen him. <laughs> now where is he? I'm not gonna tell you. I know where he's at. I know. Because there is gonna be more Catface Mammers videos and things are gonna tie together and hopefully your minds are gonna go <laughs> So, in saying all that, Ta Talos said, enough of this, I'm tired because, you know, he reset everything. He said, I'm tired of these people forgetting who, who I was, not only as a man, but now as a god. And I am going to say, Whoosh, I'm scared, you are back. And now I'm going to bring a champion amongst us. And that is Uncle Porkstar. Uncle Porkstar is going to be Talus' uh, enforcer, if you will. The, the hand of the king, if you will. The, uh person to come down and smite the non-believers and spread the word of Talos with his fists and swords and magic. <laughs> and so, that is where we're at now. Now, past that, uh, essentially, um, Uncle Porkstar is here to basically destroy every non-believer in Talos, the oppressors of Talos, these bastards here, all these guys in red, the, uh, what are they called? 
those elf bastards. I'll, I'll remember their names later. And anyone who happens to get in his way. Essentially, he is an evil character, is the best way to put it. A very, very evil character. Um, and he will do things for other people, but only if it benefits him or benefits Talos. Um, and that's pretty much where we're at now. Uh-oh. I'm gonna get a little bit of a callback to some series here. Wait for it! Wait for it! Cinnamon, no! No, Cinnamon! <laughs> so, that is where we're at. Now, let's get this party started. And I'm going to more or less zoom through all of this right here so I can get to where I need to get to rather quickly. Before I do that, let's make sure our gameplay settings are on master, of course. 360 controller, yes, vibration. All this is looking good. Save that. Okay, cool. I'm gonna let this fire go so we don't get it. I'm gonna attempt a little something I saw in a speed run once. Get over there! Apparently, there's a way to jump over there. Ulfric Stormcloak, y'all are winning. So, I'm gonna, it has I'm gonna honor fast forward, if you will, and uh, we'll catch up past this in just a little bit, like now. Let's try this again. My intention is not to make this playthrough a no death playthrough like I did with the uh, Cat Face Meowmers. Uh, twice. <laughs> uh, my intention is to basically just have a lot of fun with this character and do a lot of evil deeds, things like that. So actually, right now, excuse me. But yeah, the other day I watched the speed run. Someone go through uh, here, and I was like, and he jumped over like where Alduin came in right there, and I was like. You can do that? Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay. No, oh, excellent. And then I thought to myself, I want to do that. So that was the first time I've tried it. And yeah, as you can see, these guys are wearing different armor, uh, various other uh, things like cloaks. Uh, weapons are gonna be a little different, and, uh, all kinds of, all kinds of goods. I've got some new mods installed compared to my last series. Now, just wait until you see, uh, Uncle Porkstar next to a rather large Nord like this. Looks like we're the only ones who made it. That thing was a dragon. Yeah, it was. No doubt. <laughs> just like the children's stories and the legends. Yeah. <laughs> the harbingers of the end times. Indeed. Let we me get moving. Oops. <laughs> Come here. Let me see if I can get those bindings off. Yeah. Hey -o. You may as well take gun your skin. And we are circumcised. We won't be needing it anymore. <laughs> Alright, so now. That armor <laughs> on Gunyar isn't doing him any good. We are rather Go large. <laughs> Thank you, race menu mod. <laughs> Okay, uh, yeah, we'll take and take and take. So, as far as, like, what we're going to be mainly specializing in, um, I went ahead and favorited a couple of things. Uh, we're going to be specializing in heavy armor, um, two-handed, some destruction, and conjuration. Pretty simple build. Um, that conjuration is going to be the thing we really try to focus in on. No way to open this from outside. I also changed up some of my lighting mods compared to the last series. Um, got some a few extra weather things. Um, I also installed uh, realistic needs and diseases and frostfall. Um, I will put links, or not links, but uh, everything in the uh, descriptions below. Now that I'm thinking about this, this may not be on Master at the moment. So I'm going to get this fight out of the way real quick. And then I'm going to adjust some settings. 
All right, that guy down. Maybe one nice. Okay, take that and let's equip, 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 equip. Here All right. Uh, we will go ahead and equip that. And we'll take some things. Uh, we'll just take all this stuff so we can sell. So anyway, um, let me very, very quickly adjust my... S nope, okay, it's still in Master. Hey, good for us. Um, past that, let's get this mod stuff. Let me make sure my camera is set good. Um, here, here's a very quick list of some things. Uh, but I'm not going to spend too much time here. Let's get back to the game. Tally ho, fellas! Come on, let's get some cabbages. The the whole tower they uh, no longer <laughs> give us uh, like health, if you will. They are now there strictly for the purpose of keeping us uh, nourished. Is the best way to put it. Um, so I can't just be like nom 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 during the heat of battle. I have to have potions in the heat of battle, or my healing spell that I've actually got. Ooh, what the couch! Alright, let's keep going. Let's just screw these dudes up. Huh, get some, get some, get some. I haven't done this in a while, though, yet. Yes! Flame on! Okay. Let's see anything better than what we've got. Not really. Uh, we can still take all of that. Okay. It has been so long since I've played through the, the beginning. See if you can find <laughs> like the real beginning of Skyrim. Take some wine because we guess we can drink it and a few other things will help us, but it, it can get you drunk. Just like Samuel L. Jackson's beer. Yes, it's my beer. <laughs> yes, they deserve to die, and I hope they burn in hell. Oh, there we go. There we go. All the potions. A little bit of that. Um. Oh yes, take that too. Okay. What else we got? Some healing. Little bit of salt pile. Cabbages <gasps> everywhere. Baskets are killing us. Dogs and cats living together. Mass hysteria. I now realize those are rock Done. or eggs. Let's get moving. Let me see. Do I have a two-handed weapon right now? Nope. Just the axe. Okay. All right. Let's do this, girl. Like this. Yeah, that's screwing us up a little bit. Thank you. Thanks for the help. I'll take all that for now, too. Nice. Nice, everybody. Good job, fellas. Okay. Lockpick's over here, yeah. Lockpick. Lockpick. Oh, really now? It's locked. See if you Dragonborn. Need nope. Picks. You might need Excuse that me. Gold. Excuse me. Okay. Let's get a little bit of lock picking. See, right now the uh, Stormcloaks, the reason I sided with them, is not only are they uh, just overall cooler. Oh, well, yes. We'll definitely be equipping our shock spell. Oh, I gotta probably understand it before we can equip it. Oosh. And switch back. And let's favorite this. Favorite that, and then we're equip that. There you go. We're gonna basically be electric and ice on the destruction tree. Oh. <laughs> uh, there's a skeleton around here somewhere. If I remember correctly. Eh, hey, he's probably in one of these. I don't remember all of that well. <laughs> yeah, we're basically going to be on the side of uh, shock stuff and frost. That's going to be our main things. Shock, because as I've discovered recently, 
nothing is uh, resistant to shock in Skyrim. At least that's what I've heard. <laughs> I, that may not be a hundred percent. Oh man, I, I haven't looked yet. It's like total, almost like Leonidas kind of look going on. Very uh, ancient Greece, ancient Rome kind of look to it. Oh really now? Orders are to do. Correct. Definitely gonna get that heavy armor up really quick. Oh, there's people behind us too. Get him, gentlemen. Get him. A little difficult. There we go. There we go. Oof. Got that blood too. Okay. Now I'm gonna be a little bit more picky about what I pick up. So we got a decent amount of stuff to sell, but I am looking for some two-handed weaponry. Someone has a war axe or something around here. Imperial sword? No. <laughs> I know that there's just chaos going on behind us, but it's okay. All right, let's go. Yeah, yes, let's go. Come on. Okay, that's one of us. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Let's get a... Oosh! There we go. There we go. Bow before your new god. <laughs> okay. Alright. Forward ho. Okay. I was about to say that. Hit that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the new lighting mods I installed definitely, definitely look a lot better. Climate to Tamriel is good for the weather, but... Like, inside dungeons and indoors and things, it's just not quite up to snuff. It's a little too dark, muted for my taste. Outside, it's gorgeous, though. But inside, like here, that lighting just looks so much better with these uh, real light realistic lighting overhaul. That's what I got now. Oh, bring it. Bring it. What? Touch your shit? Get out of here. That's right. And you're stuck. And you're... All of you are stuck. What, what are you going to do? Get shit on. <laughs> oh. 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 Get wrecked. Oh, you've been poisoned. No. No. Okay, there we go. <laughs> uh, nah. We don't really need frostbite poison. Denied. Or not. Or not. There we go. Okay. Okay, you don't really have much on you. And let's get going. I need me a good two-handed weapon. Come on now. Come on, give it to me. Ah! Jumping off cliffs into the raging rapids below. Let's see, this skeleton... Yeah, that's what I thought was over here. And then we got the cabbage cart. I am going to... Favorite and use. Favorite and use. And favorite and use. And we'll have to re-favorite that a little bit. Not cabbage cart, that's in... Uh, Riverwood. <laughs> if I remember correctly. Iron Helmet, yes. That will do us nicely. Iron Helmet. Definitely looks better. That's my thing. I, I want it to look cool. Yes! Okay. Where's our friend? I'm just gonna solo this bear? Is that what's about to happen? Yoo-hoo, friend! Where did you go? Can I... Nope, cannot wait. <laughs> oh well. We're gonna have to take mid lane and do solo mid this bear. Uh, nerd reference. Wrecked. Get wrecked. You furry bitch. Where are you going? Oh. Oh. 
like a man. <laughs> yes. See, bear meat. It doesn't uh, increase health. It just uh, fills us up. All right. Yeah, I guess we're going it alone. Whatever. <laughs> it's cool. We, we won. We won the game. <laughs> Skyrim's over. Hooray. All right. Let's do this. A little bit of little bits. Check and see how long we've been going. Okay. Ah. I felt good. I felt good. I haven't run through the that beginning, that escape from Helgen in quite a while. Well, there you are. Thanks for joining us. Cherry Pepsi cheers, everyone. <laughs> it seems like he was just saying, oh, wait! To, to, uh, Alduin. No way to know if anyone else made it out alive. My sister, Gerder, runs the mill in Riverwoods, yeah. just up the road. I'm sure she'd help you oh, out. Those. That's pretty sweet looking. It's probably best if we split up. Good luck. I wouldn't have made it without your help today. That's all right. My sister, Gerder. Hey, yeah, your sister, Gerder. Just up the road. She's probably sure not single. Oh, let's zoom that camera it's out just a bit. Best if we split up. Get a good look. Good luck. I wouldn't have made it without your help today. Okay, let's go into into Riverwood. Establish dominance. What's that thing that Conan says about uh, like techno enemies or techno prisoners? Rape the horses and light up on the women. You know, <laughs> you should go to Windhelm and join the fight to free. That's Skyrim. not what Arnold said, by the way. The the <laughs> That's actually from a completely different movie, not, not Conan. Know what the coming of the dragon means. It's over. Oh yeah, this looks so much better with the. Uh, Flora stuff that I've installed now. Ah! Why did I not get a PC sooner? <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, I've been playing Skyrim on Windows for a while, but... Like, when this game came out, and I got it on PS3, I was just like, Oh my god! But this! Oh, it looks so good. It looks so good. I granted on YouTube, it's not going to look as good, but trust me. That ruin up there? It looks good. Bleak hey, he pointed! Never understood how I've never noticed him do that. In the Usually I've run past him, though, when I'm like, do this, bitch! <clears throat> but in this case, in this case, I saw him point. Never knew. You learn something new in Skyrim every day. Every day. All right, Guardian Stones, uh, Thief Stone, no thank you, we're not going to sneak at all. But, Mage Stone, this, we're going to go Mage, because... We're going to be a bit more re reliant on our heavy armor and our two-handed weaponry. And when we do use the magic, it's going to be either to summon things, to raise things, or people are getting a little too close and we need a little extra ah, kind of boost. Alright, Mage Stone, go. Engage. Flame on or something. Alright. These are the Guardian Stones. Alright, history lesson is over. Class is not in session. Hey, his boots come through his cape because he's too big. <laughs> yeah, some of these mods were suggested by some uh, various subscribers. Others, I watched uh, some gopher, gopher vids on Um I also watched GameSpot. The top five Skyrim mods of the week weekly series showcasing mods. And they show some pretty ridiculous ones in the way of, like, just absolutely silly. And then they show some that are pretty damn awesome. And uh, I was like, ooh, I want in on some of those. Alright, I'm thinking we should hit up... Isn't there a bandit camp right back over here? Somewhere... Spiderweb action. Let's get ready for the wool. Oh. There you go. Yep. Get wrecked, bitch. There we go. Where's your friend? Where's your friend? Oh, friends. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Oh. <laughs> I'm so not used to playing a melee character. Ooh. Ooh. The bitch slapping in the axe slap. What? 
Oh. Okay. Take all of that. Alright. Camp O Banditos. Is she like right over here somewhere? I thought the Camp O Banditos was right over here. Maybe I'm just remembering things incorrectly because it's been too long. There's like a little path or something. Maybe it's further up this way. And if not, no big deal. I get into Riverwood and can sell a few goods and get a little bit of uh, armor. For the adventures ahead. Hello? Nope, just a gap. Okay, little well, alley oops. Yeah, I guess it was further back. Alright, here comes Riverwood and all of its magnificence. Whee! Alright, let's get in here. This would just be absolutely terrifying to see a giant. Well, a giant being, one, just casually walking into town. But also this giant red orc. A dragon! Okay. Hello, chicken. Oh, and, oh, as always, for tradition, bink! <laughs> we don't have to jump far. We could probably walk into it. Bink, bink, a little bink on the head. Okay. Watch what you do. Look at that. Just barely fitting under the doorway. <laughs> I've also got uh, interesting NPCs in salt too. Alright, let's help out. Whatever you need. I sneer. I see no harm in it. If you have the skill. Rhinestone will improve your weapons. Use the table to improve your armor. If you've got the raw materials. You can use the forge to make something new. I like that. Just stare down. Hi. Hi. For a new hmm. blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Okay, well, let's chat. Okay, I would like to sell um all of this stuff and a lot of this stuff too. Can I just take off my cape? Hi. Nope, still got it. Sweet. Um, let's see if we got anything else I can sell. No, no, because I need to... Excuse me, little person. <laughs> Alright. For plates? That's probably for camping and things. Oh, wait, I, th I activated the sa selling. I was like... Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Oh, a little tearing, but that's okay. All right. The name's next your time. and I'm just the man. Get for a the bandana, job. nice. More tailoring, some leather. Any, any. Perhaps a couple of things of strips. We could make some of that, but we need roll of paper and two tundra cotton. Okay. For now, we're okay. For now, we're okay. Let's see, if I remember correctly, if I help him, I can get access to some of this stuff. Really, it's just a helmet. Iron boots, okay, okay. Um, let's let's mm -hmm. actually buy a few things. I mean, yes, we're evil, but so far, no one here's done anything to piss us off, you know? Talos gave us our instructions, not not to kill everyone, but just to, you know, smite. There was a kid running across a thing there, okay. What have you got for Looking sale? to protect yourself or deal some damage? All right, well, now, what do you have that we could use? Balax chills, that seems pretty sweet. He doesn't really have much in the way of the new weapons. That wooden club's actually one. Um, let's sort by damn. Damn, damn! Yeah, here we go. This is more our speed. We only have 346 gold, though. Let's see, what about your armor? There's a steel. Get get in on that action. Okay. Um, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Sorry, people. Sorry. Ooh, it's painted. It's pretty. 
Okay, let's get ourselves a decent... Let's see, what is our particular... Let's do a 9 damage. <laughs> so sorry, it's just so... I haven't started a new character in so long. Steel War Pick. Ooh, that looks sweet. Oh, it doesn't have chains like you can't throw... Oh, that'd be, that'd be pretty badass. Alright, so we have 346. I am going to get a battle axe because we are an orc. And they they he doesn't have a mace, like a good mace. So we're going to go axe. Swings a little slower than a great sword, but I'm not worried about the speed. But the, that price difference, though. For only one damage? Yeah, okay. We're going with the bargain. We're going with the bargain. All right. Hi. Hi. Thanks for the business, sir. There we Hi. go. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oof. 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 You people ain't ready for this. There's going to be a little texture tearing, but this still looks pretty cool. Swords jutting out of a cape like that? Or cloak, excuse me. Such a Batman. Alright, so what kind of quests do we have available? Talk to Girder and Riverwood. Frostfall, we gotta find Survivor's Guide to Skyrim. Or we can join the Stormcloak Rebellion. Um, I'm thinking that instead of talking to Girder. We should see if there's anything going on in the local inn. Good old, you know, miscellaneous you questions. <laughs> How long have I been going? Uh, with the screw up about 40 minutes. Okay, not too bad. Ooh, this guy looks like an adventurer. You in need of a companion, friend? Well, then you're in luck. Oh, yeah? I reckon I've killed more men. Than there are minutes in a day. <laughs> a murderer! Guards! Guards! <laughs> You've killed more than 14, 40 men? Hey, there you go. <laughs> okay. Oh, I okay. Thank you, Mod, for giving us a pretty snarky character, because I like that. I think any case I've killed that many this week. By minutes, you mean hours. And by men, you mean mud crabs. I'd say you're right. I can count the mud crabs I've killed without using my toes. I'm not big on hurting such gentle creatures. No, no. Where's on the fight? Have you managed to kill so many men? What brought you to Skyrim? Follow me. I need your help. What brought? Let's. The Horkers, my friend. The Horkers. I can't get enough of a good bowl of Horker stew, fresh garlic. Tomatoes, a sprinkle of lavender. <laughs> mm. Okay. It's a horker park. Do some carrots. For this such a grotesque beast. <laughs> it's what's on the inside that counts, friend. And that part's delicious. <laughs> Sorry, I'm gonna adjust my green screen. This may not work out well because my dog bumped into it. Oh, okay. That's good enough. That's good enough for now. Okay, anyway, you're in the wrong place. Riverwood isn't exactly the worker capital of Skyrim. That isn't it. You see, hey, dog. I've tried stews of all different flavors from all over Tamriel. <laughs> Tamriel? I've tried your venisons and your steaks. I've tried your bug meat. Your horror pies. Horror pies? And chorus nuggets. <laughs> Some wood elf charlatan even tried to sell me what he called a wyvern steak. But it wyverns. tasted like mountain Screw goat. wyverns right in their stupid faces. I've tried every meat from the Somerset Isles to the shores of Solstein. And I'm ain't nothing compared to a fresh pot of worker stew. Fresh pot! But you know what I haven't <laughs> tried? I haven't tried a dragon. <laughs> and call me crazy, but I think I saw one fly this way not long ago. Okay. Hunt a dragon together and dine on its flesh. That sounds pretty orcish. Well, 
There's still the problem of the scales. We need to find a way in. Unless you plan on using your teeth. Eh. In that case, follow me. Let's go. We've got ourselves a companion. And if he, uh, decides to cross us for any particular reason, then we'll kill him. I have no qualms with doing that with this character. No thank you. Alright. Delphine. You're that visitor been poking around. I haven't really been poking around. I've been talking to Word one person. Word is, Ulfric Stormcloak escaped from the Imperials. War is only going to get worse now. Oh, really? Thanks for the info. What about you? We got rooms and food. Drink, too. I cook. Ain't much else to Rumors? tell. Rumors? Rumors. <laughs> Looking for work. Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. All right. Silent Moon's camp leader. Okay, okay. All right, then. Okay. So far, we're good. Just remember, everything's better bloody. I like this guy's right, attitude. Then. I like it. All right, let's get out of here. And let's go... Right, let's go right over here to the trader, the Riverwood trader. Let's engage in a little uh, quest well, one of us has to beginning. Do I said no. No adventures. I'm just gonna interrupt. No. Well, I don't know what you overheard, but the Riverwood Trader is. I think oh, I wait. have a I, few old I don't have any spell gold. books laying about. Derp, derp. If you want more? You'll have to go to the College of Winterhold. Sorry, buddy. Didn't mean to interrupt. But what spells do you have? Clairvoyance, Frostbite. Hello. Uh, gray Zombie. Damn. Soothe. Oh, that's one of the new things. Interesting. The Riverwood Trader is everything you need. Is the point of pay. Store. Yeah. I better get back to cleaning the Just store. leave me all the food. Simple enough. Fifty gold. Damn. Okay. Actually. Just leave me all the can food. Can we get your then. armor? No, we can't. <laughs> this frustrates me. Okay. Um. In that case, you can stay. Let's go. Um, Maybe you're looking for something particular. Uh, yeah. No, no, you know, no. A bit of a, a no, no. <laughs> We still have plenty to sell. Robbers were only after one thing. An ornament. Solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. Could help you get the claw back. You could? Got some coin coming in from my last shipment. Speaking my language. It's yours if you bring my claw back. Yes, we're a fighter, but we're also a shrewd businessman. Steve, you should head to Bleak Falls Barrow, northeast of town. Okay. Yes. So now you don't have to go. All right. Well, let's go head to Bleak Falls Barrow. Let's do that. Hey, it's this guy, the creepy dude. What do you have for sale? <laughs> Look at that face. <laughs> Am I pretty, mommy? Am I pretty? <laughs> okay, enough of that. Hey, you got lots of potions. Um, one health potion. I know, dog. I know. I know. Mm -hmm. There's boo. There's table boo that you have to be inside where it feels comfortable. <laughs> okay. So let's head to Bleak Falls Barrow. Jeez, that was loud, and I could, like, I don't hear sound coming in through my headphones other than the game. Like, I don't hear myself. I mean, I can, but it's not, you know, coming in through the headphones. And I, that dog bark, I'm editing that out for sure, so it, it's not our, you know, rest in peace in peace, headphone users, you know. Jeez, dog. We'll go to the bathroom in a little bit. We need to get full sparrow. I think... All right, Wolfie. Oh, yes. Oh. Sorry, I haven't I haven't played a big brute of a bastard in a long, long time. But some of you don't know this, the first time I ever beat the main story of Skyrim back before like all the DLC and stuff came out was with 
a barbarian type character. It wasn't a Sneaky Snakes. It was a barbarian named Trogdor the Burninator. Say what? Trogdor the Burninator. Forever holds place in my, my heart as being my first time. Here we go. We can get some armor here. I don't have any conjuration yet. But, like I said, we're going to level up our, like, fighting abilities really quickly. So I'm not worried about that stone we had earlier. But I can do this. Now ain't this a surprise. Oh! Night, night! Oh, arrows, look out. Level up action. Nice, nice. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Charge. Oh, is that a Khajiit bandit? Yeah. Night, night. Oh, and he fell off. <laughs> oh, and like a little backbreaker action too. Get wrecked. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, and yes, and we're already equipped, but we'll take for selling. Uh, that will leave, and that will leave. There we go. This is this is getting a little bit better. Still not quite the Death Knight look we are 100% looking for, but it will work. A hood of black fur. Aaron Tanto, one of the newer weapons, a little dagger. Longbow, won't need it. That has good value. Travel cloak, brown fur. We will equip. Sorry, didn't mean to do that. Oh yeah, this this is a bit better. This will keep us warm once the uh, Frostfall mod will start. Oof. I picked good mods for this character. <laughs> this is going to be fun. All right, a little search, a little gold. It's pretty cool looking stuff. Quarter staff. Oh, I could make a monk. Ooh, a gray one. Let's take that too. And and we got a imperial silver. We don't want to wear imperial stuff. We only had to do it to get out of there. In fact, let's drop that crap on the ground. No, we could sell that crap, actually. <laughs> Like I said, shrewd businessman. Um, where's that travel coat? Oh yeah, that's that's better. That's much much better. Oh yeah, and I got the. Uh, I don't know if you saw the breath coming out, but I've got um um I'm like oh I can see it coming out like in front of me there. Whenever I went to first person, oh that's badass. Oh that's awesome. I forget the name of it. It's like Wet and Cold, I think, or something like that. Like I said, the list of mods will be in the description. Looking out my back window. A little CCR. Okay. That's Credence, by the way. What we got here? A little barrel action. Black robes. It's creepy. Uh, that. That. Okay. This. Hinge plate. No, thanks. Mm hmm. Yeah, and he oh, he's got his own stuff too. Nice, nice. Oh, I'm excited. Maybe more excited for the mods than anything else. All right, let's take all that. All right, let's continue on to Bleak Falls Barrow. Ooh, 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 ooh. Excuse us. Down this way, across the way, and then up the way. Yes, here we go. Zip, 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 zoom, 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 zoom. Ah, my breath. <laughs> Long winter. <laughs> yes, that was me who did the voice in that last video. Just added a little bit of effects on top of it. Pretty cool with that little lighting set up behind it. Oh, okay, that was him getting ready. I was like, did I just activate a trap? All right, well, let's just get in. Let's get it. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Out, night, night. Quarter staff on me. <laughs> 
Night night to you. Where's your friend? Where's your friend? There we go. Go get him, buddy. I don't even remember your name. Do your work. Oof. <sighs> Dirty. Okay, that. All that. Um. <clears throat> Take that too. Gore. Okay, <laughs> that's such a perfect name. A death knight and his friend Gore. We can do that. Okay, what else? Not sure where the other one quite went. Text message coming through. Cloak. Oops. Lance. Okay. And then. Did I ever tell you I spent half a year in a dungeon? It took three companions to haul me in. I don't know what for. <laughs> but I reckon they had good cause. Well, not as funny as Inigo. I'm not expecting funny. Oh. We all of a sudden were just carrying too much to be able to run. Is that our food kicking in? Are we hungry? Are we hungry? The thing is, like, if I remember correctly, the keyboard shortcut I have doesn't work because of my iHUD thing. So I am just going to do a little bit of this, a little bit of this. We got raw food. Let's see. That, 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 that. This may kill us. <laughs> that, that. Still carrying a bit too much. Um. Can I drop real quick? I can't see anything. <laughs> Let's see, get that weight sort. Uh, yeah. That'll be okay for now. Okay, let's get the little hidden lockbox thing over here. And satchel. <laughs> Wait, did that start to move? Yeah, it did. Oop, so it's back this way. Oh, shh, Nikes. It's right there. Come on. Let me back up a bit. And. Back up a bit. Boosh. Okay. We'll wear that. Nice. Nice hole. Okay. Let's go inside where it's a bit more warm. Oh, there we go. I'm gonna need to maybe turn off my eye HUD. Or if there's a way to toggle it for the hunger and all that. Frostfall hasn't been activated, so I know I'm not cold or anything. I still need to level up, too. Hmm. That lighting, though. That lighting, though. Okay. Oh, yeah, our stamina. Wait, maybe. Is that the poison? Or. We'll look at our active effects. Active. Effect. Yeah, that's the right words. Alright. Uh, first things first health. And then. We're gonna go with what we have currently, which is our two hand. Boosh. Alright, let's look at our active effects real quick. Bone break fever. Okay. okay, that was that thing. So we need some disease uh, curing. Shrine of Talos, save us. That's pretty sweet looking. That lighting, though. Okay, what you got? Um, I don't want to. I don't want to start carrying too much until I can find a little, a little something. Over here. Where are you, what are you doing? No. All right, he'll be he'll be the distraction. There we go. Oh, he's aggro. He's got tank. Excuse me. Just 
brutally. Ugh. Um, I need I need some disease curing. I need some disease curing. Where is that chest? Here we go. Come on, please have a broken lockpick. Okay, have something in you that can cure disease. Pretty cool. Water breathing potion. Do I already have cure disease potion? I do not. Okay. Oh man, it's not kidding it. The stuff is dropping pretty pretty rapidly. I probably should not approach this without getting my disease cured. So we're gonna be tact tactful about this. I am going to head over to Whiterun, cure my diseases, and then come back here. And then in real life, I'm going to take this dog out, so I'll stop complaining. So that's the plan. Hey, here we go. All cured. Feeling better. No more active effect garbage for us. Alright, let's get ready. For anything that may come. And that would be Drugger and Spiders and Arvel or Veal or whatever his name is. Some silly something like that. When I was in the dungeon, a bunch of the guards used to torture the prisoner in a cell next to mine. It wasn't right. It wasn't fair. Apparently he he's had some issues with Dragon's Reach. When we went back to uh, Whiterun, he talked of not being a fan of uh, Dragon's Reach, to be specific. He said, if I never see it again, that won't be long enough, or some something like that. If I... something. <laughs> but anywho... Alright, through the... Dungeons and the catacombs we go. Let this guy kill himself. The bandito outlaw. Dude, what are you doing? Stop killing yourself. Stop killing yourself. <laughs> That's alright. Antique iron sword. Pretty cool looking. Brown, brown burl amp. A little bit of gold and a torch, just in case it gets a little dark. Okay, let's do the snake, snake, fish, whale-looking thing. I believe it's one, one, two. One, one. Oosh. Nope, it's not. It's one, two, two. <laughs> Two. There we go. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Sorry, buddy, if you got hit. Okay. Skeevers will be coming up from there. Defend ourselves against the Skeever Horde. Looks so cool when you block. It's a little bit of. Uh. <laughs> Speaking of, I'll let you contract the diseases first. Correct. <laughs> Where's your friend? Give me a little something, something though. I think there's a sneaky book, yeah. And okay, we'll take it just to sell it. Or nope. Oh, can we rain down death from above? Cha <laughs> cha! A little bit. Level. Okay. This will bump into stamina. Basically, we're going to be a pretty spread thin character when it comes to those particular stats. Next to my head. <laughs> yeah, next to my head. I'm still sitting in front of the green screen. At least it's lined up, from what I can see. Alright. Um, so we could bump that. But I'm thinking we bump our armor. 
We're not gonna use much in the way of the armor tree. We just gotta get hit. <laughs> to really level it. Rally cease. Some fire. Okay. Yep. Our Velve Swift. Celine! <laughs> I know I done goofed. Alright, spider time. I'm gonna sparky spark for this. <coughs> get, uh, get a little bit. What? Are you gonna get the aggro? Are you gonna get the aggro? And now, he'll pull aggro? Yeah, there we go. Woo, excuse me. And now he's in prison again. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> oh well. The poison will go away. Help me! Help! Oh, wait, down. Help me out of here! I'm gonna you, talk to you. You did it. You killed him. Now cut me down before anything else shows up. Why does this guy voice sound? Yes, familiar? the claw. I know how it works. The claw, the markings, the door in the hall of stories. I know how they all fit together. Help Kinda me. Kind of sounds like Jonathan Ross a little bit. That's what it is. The Nords have hidden there. All right. Sweet breath of arcade. Thank you. Logic too. He can't hand us the claw if. <laughs> He's it's coming up. loose. I can feel it. Never sh you fool. Why should I? <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. We would have had to kill him anyway. Might as well got <laughs> just get it over with. He didn't got got. A little this. And I think we need linen wraps for some things, so I'm gonna pick up a couple of those. I'm gonna have to relearn a lot of combinations in this game because of these new mag. Okay. Finally, some <laughs> action. Let's go, friend. Time. Oh yeah, to this guy. It. This guy's got the attitude. The right kind. Get a couple sparks going. Get that up. This. <laughs> Get destroyed. Okay, he took aggro. Okay. Oosh. Nord battle axe. Yeah, let's go and equip that. Bring that death. That death. That overall just kind of death look. Yeah. All right, let me favorite that real quick as well, and then re-equip it. Well, unfavorite, favorite. There we go. Yeah, I already got you. Do your friends have anything? We don't really have many friends to search. A little bit of gold, okay. How about you? A little bit of gold as well. People get tired of hearing it. But in the arena, you take one battle at a time. Same goes for ruins like this. Too big to think too far ahead. Okay. Sound advice. This NPC's got, got his head on straight. He's got it together. Oh, it's time for you to wake up. With Folgers in your cup, son. Oh, I took the aggro on that. No. Not gonna be shooting that blue shit at me. Here comes his friend. Yep. Sparks ready. Man, 
and switch. Oh, definitely want that Berserker Rage. I'm going to be using that here in a little bit. Keep my swing. Is that it? Did you get him? Sweet. Good work. Good work. Definitely good work. Okay. There we go. I think it's just one, maybe two. Yeah, just the one. <laughs> Oh, disgusting. Okay. My least favorite thing in every Skyrim playthrough. Stupid blades. Well, like I said, this is not intended to be a no-death. And even if I intended that, I already screwed that up. Alright. There's a thing up here. If I remember correctly, yep. Ah. We'll skip, we'll jump. There we go. And a little up, a little up, a little down. A little this way. A little this way. Boosh. Okay. And we'll take all of that. Alright. Let me do my save. Blades. Right. Get in there. Something just happened. Rock joint. Manual dexterity. Melee weapons are 35% less effective. Jeez. Oh, Thor, you're kind of close, buddy. Alright, just in case we need to head back that way. Jeez. Ugh, 35%. That's alright. That's alright. We can, we can do this. I got my Berserker Rage. For what I really needed. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. I'm gonna use some of this to our advantage. Let's see if I can. Yep. Buddy, watch out. Watch out. Oh, goodness. Why are you, why are you coming after me? <laughs> there we go. Teamwork. Teamwork makes the dream work. Yes. Is that a sword? I think one less. Yeah. Oh, I saw the stats on that, too. 16. Ugh. Ugh. No thank you. No thank you to those stats. Okay. Just be careful. Keep going. Got a few more chambers. I've been going a little while. This is going to be a little longer video. Jagash. There we go. And that. Ooh. <laughs> it's just. Oof. Okay. I picked a good guy to follow us. I was thinking flying solo, but. Nice.
Very nice. Nice. Get ourselves a pickaxe right up here, too. There we go. And just run. Damn. Damn and hell and crap. Those aren't worth it. But doing a little bit of iron pickery is. There we go. That's just a weird sound going on there. Oh well. Still love you, game. Even though you're weird. Okay. Pull that. Okay. Yeah, I'm swinging around here. Get the Draugr walking across the little icy bridge. I'm thinking running power tackle. Which is a good thing to get. Careful, careful. <laughs> a little clipping there. I don't want to be taken out by some, like, elk skull or something. That would be embarrassing. There we go. Oh. Oh. Boosh! And now we'll go over to Magicka. And... For now... We'll do two-handed. Because I don't want to start dumping into Magicka just yet until I start getting those spells I really need. Which will be not, not too far away. Let's see, are we still... Yeah, we are. Rock joint. <laughs> It's okay, it's just gonna make make the game that more difficult and interesting, at least to me. May not be that interesting for you two, because I'm gonna be like, hey guys, we're gonna go camping and cure diseases out on the Oregon Trail. We're not gonna die of syphilis and diphtheria and all that other nonsense. Alright, this guy's gonna be a bit tricky. I'm gonna do this. Hopefully aggro over there. Yep. Okay. Yeah, this guy's a tough one. But not as tough as the final. There we go, a little stagger. That's good. Nice thing about the two handed power attacks is a good power attack and stagger, which I am a fan of. With the close quarters. Another set of blades coming up, if I remember correctly. Yep, there they are. Finally, some action. Let's go, friends. Time's a wasted. Oops, on the side. There we go. Get it. Get it. There we go. There we go. I'm gonna come over here, get some potions and stuff. We'll resist aggro on him while I'm looking around and shopping. Oh, my shopping spree is coming to an end. But I can use that pot to our advantage. There we go. Oof, teamwork. Yeah, buddy. Any more? I think it's just the two that are up there. If I remember correctly. 
Okay. Okay. Sir Graves is coming up. I can, f I can feel it. I can feel it brewing betwixt my legs. <laughs> This, this is solid twos. Ooh, that, that, mm, that lighting looks good. That looks good. All right, one and two and one and two. One, two. Sweet. Oh. Nikes. Hooray! <laughs> I thought I had the key all selected there. Yippee! Whee! Okay. That pretty. That's pretty. Rocks over there. By the arena. That's impressive. Damn right. Alright, so let's get this ready. Because we're going to lead off with that. But before we really kick it off, I'm going to gather the loot that's around here. Get a little over here. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All that. Nice. <clears throat> it's okay, buddy. It's okay. I haven't forgotten about you, Mr. Goa. Skin. True shot. Eh, we'll take it. Sell it. Why not? Alright. Stuck. There we go. And now. It's party time. take that and disenchant that. I want my kill cams to come up, man. Rage. <laughs> We're still pissed. <laughs> Coming up to the seat pool. <laughs> Alright, let's get into our next little room and get out of here and wrap the video up. I'll hop down, hop a do. Flowers. Let's go keep it chesty. Oh, eh, that's alright. Okay, so we are gonna head into the light and come back next time in episode two. As always, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy.